In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a 2014 Mustang GT rear bumper. The first thing you need to do is you need to uh, lift your Mustang up, take the wheels off, and you want to come inside the trunk and remove this panel first. There are a few clips and a few screws, and then this thing should just pop up. All right, there's a clip right here and a screw right here. So next thing is you just want to pop this up like that. And, it, and there's a one connector right here. So next thing is you're going to have to do is remove the tail lights because that's going to be our next thing. All right, with three screws removed, that tail light should just pop back up evenly. And there is a connector right here. So you can disconnect that. And we're just going to put it now that the tail lights are removed, you want to move to three screws right here. One, two, three. And on the bottom, there are two clips that you got, got to pull out. So this thing just slides out this way. So on the bottom of the bumper, you will see two pins that you got to pull out. There's a lot of sand coming out, but that's where you get them. Something over here. All right, with all those clips removed, you should be able to pop the bumper off like that. And then right over here, same stuff and on the bottom now there are gonna be two clips that hold the fuser i'll show you this in a moment so on the back of the car when you go underneath the diffuser the bumper is gonna have two brackets right here which are clips and they just pop up on one side and then you have one more clip that holds the fuser right here so once you get that off basically with the one hand give me a second now that the bottom is unclipped so what you want to do is i'm going to pull this guy back and then this thing just pop back up like that and then you're going to have three clips right here one two three or four maybe so those just have to be popped up so i might need two hands for this as you can see there's one two three four and then there are two here this already coming out by itself and just like that is actually a clip in here that you have to pop out that kind of connects to the whole bumper okay well I actually have to cut the camera cord off but that's how the bumper comes off here is a better view of all the clips so literally you have one two three screws two pop-up clips one more pop-up clip right here and two down here so pretty much that's it and everything else just pops up